You know what we're seeing right now, talking to a bunch of clients, we're getting into some really sticky negotiations between buyers and sellers. And I believe it's gonna become even more challenging between now and the rest of the year. Can I tell you why? Well, right now, like buyers and sellers are so consumed. I believe there's three views you have in the world, right? One is the world view. That's where your prospects are like consumed in information around the economy, around who's going to be the next in government in America. It's, is it going to be Biden? Is it going to be Trump? Who cares? Like, but you know what? Right now, it's all about inflation. Interest rates, will they go up? When will they come down? And because these people are consumed with this world view right now, they're just sort of like feeling all this like level of heaviness. Yeah. So there's two views you can control. And that's what one we call this self view. The way you hold your mindset, your psychology, the way you see yourself right now in this marketplace. You can either shrink or you can actually expand. The other thing that you want to be thinking about is the other view, which is the future view. And in sales, sales is leadership. You are guiding people. You sell people a vision and a future. The only reason they're sticking negotiations and the breakdown between a, a seller and a buyer in this marketplace today is because they have a certain limiting belief. Because the seller today is going, do I take that offer or don't I? And because they've got so much sort of consumption around what's happening around in, in life and in the world right now, they're not sure if I, if I take a wait and see approach, if I get a better offer or I don't. And the same thing with a buyer. Do I increase my offer an extra 10, 20, 30, 40 or fifty thousand dollars, whatever it may be? It's how do you deconstruct a limiting belief between a buyer and a seller when you're getting to sticky negotiations? There's only two ways, I believe. Number one is models and diagrams. What we teach our clients is to be able to create a model and a diagram that they can see very clearly black and white as to why it makes it to take their advantage to take that offer or you know reduce the price, whatever it may be, because it takes the element of something that's super complex right now for these people to simplify it. And I like simple rather than complex. Secondly is sometimes people don't know which way to go and what they need is information. But you've got to give people the right information between a buyer and a seller. Explain to them why is it to their advantage based on the information for them to move forward and increase that offer or perhaps you know accept that offer if you're a seller. So what is the information that you need? Well, you've got to be really clear on the information that you need in the marketplace today that you can actually show a particular seller or a buyer as to why it's really going to be logical for them to move forward with this. So right now, I think it's going to be a lot of fun out there over the next six months. I like it when the market tightens up a little bit because now you really got to demonstrate your sales skills to your vendor and a buyer. And the great sales people will actually start to move really fast and quick compared to the ones who are not as skilled or don't have the confidence and belief because their self-view is caught up in the worldview like buyers and sellers in the marketplace today.